You guys want to see something cool? There we go. There's 99 Thieving done. Hell yeah. I can finally play the game again. So finishing up 99 put me at 1370 total, and now I have 299, so I just gotta go buy the cape real quick, because obviously. I also rolled Rocky twice. Here are the screenshots real quick. And next goals are 83 Hunter for Dragon Implings, and I want to get RFD done, and in the process of getting the quest points needed, I'm going to do Desert Treasure and Lunar Diplomacy, so I've got a little bit of scaling to do as well. Oh yeah, and I have a 15.8 mil cash stack. Alright, there's Taibo one Eye Trio done, so I have 125 quest points, and I can fish Kabam Bams. There's Pirate Pete RFD done, so now I can do seaweed runs. Alright, there's the Lumbridge Guide RFD done. Now Scratch is free, that was a pain in the ass. And there's the Mountain Dwarf freed, so now I have Myth Gloves. Alright, and the job, the, 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 the Joblin... The Goblin Generals are free. Imagine finishing 99 Thieving and then 5 hours later going and doing, well, more Thieving. I just need Herb Seeds. Hey, you guys want to see something else really cool? Huge shout out to Leech BA. You can find them at discord.gg slash LBA. Huge shout out. Got the torso. Let's go, dude. Just did Mage Arena 1. Now I got to pick which uh, which cape I'm going to get. And there are no wrong answers. Just kidding. It's anything that's not Ceratomen because once I get Ancestrals, I'm going to look sick. All right. There's 40 Slayer coming in hot. Just hit 59 Strength and 72 Combat too. But now that I'm 40 Slayer, it's time to go do Throne of Miscellanea and Royal Trouble. And there's Throne of Miscellanea done. Royal Trouble's up next. Prepare to fight this giant sea snake. It will only use range attacks if you stand at a distance. It can poison you. I wonder if I can just flinch it and get it to use nothing but range attacks and then yeah, we're we're just like chilling. Yup, sure can. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> we're gaming. All right, and there's Royal Trouble done. We got a bunch of experience and increased miscellaneous resources, 132 quest points. So now I'm going to get Kingdom started after I get the uh, approval up to 100%. And then I am going to go do 83 Hunter for Dragon Implings for my glories. And then 61 Crafting for Lunar Diplomacy. And then I'm back to questing for Bar's Gloves and then hitting the Slayer grind hard. All right, there's 65 Farming coming in hot. I can do medium farming contracts now. And I just want to give a shout out to No Fail Master Farmer Pickpockets. That made the 99 Thieving grind so worth it because on top of the 15.8 mil that I made doing it, um, I've just I've gotten really lucky with Ranar seeds and Toad Flax seeds and stuff like that. I've also got some Dwarf Weed and Snapdragon seeds, but I have so much Herb XP banked right now and more coming in with all these seeds that I have to plant plus. Between Master Farmers and Birdhouses, I have all the seeds in the world that I could ever possibly need for contracts. So, yeah, just uh, that made 99 Thieving so worth doing. All right, so I fucked up the clip last night. I was really tired when I got it done. But I got 80 Hunter finished up and made some Hunter Potions. So now I am ready for Dragon Implings. So I'm doing an 8 of the Meyer Q for the Achievement Diary requirement and just, you know, quest points and all that stuff. And I needed access to this place for a clue scroll. Anyways, why didn't the quest helper have me do, do the bank booth first so that I didn't ectophile a million times to go to the bank? I'm so butthurt right now. I've wasted so much time. God. There's an 8 of the Meyer Q completed. Fucking vampires. Oh my god, I'm diseased. Am I gonna die? Oh man, I need help. Fast, fast. I got the COVID. You know, I am gonna start a petition to get Slash Bash as a pet. That I think he would make a really cool pet. And there's Zogre Flesh Eaters done. Now I can make Wrestlem's Balm, blah blah blah. So now I can cure my disease. Also, um, that is one of the requirements for Rum Dealing Cabin Fever. So wait, what? Bruh. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it earlier, but while I was at work yesterday, I finished up 61 crafting for Lunar Diplomacy and 70 farming, and that's another Song of the Elves requirement knocked out. Alright, there's Rum Deal completed. We got the Holy Wrench to save prayer points, and Cabin Fever's up next. Alright, there's Cabin Fever done, 141 quest points, and that's all the requirements for the Great Brain Robbery, which I think is the last quest requirement I need for the Mauritania Hard Diary. I stand corrected. I need Creature Fenkenstrain and 50 Prayer, but those aren't bad. 
All right, I did one small favor for this absolute dingleberry of a person and got two XP lamps out of it that I'm going to dump into Herbalore. Buh, puny human dad smash. Yeah, right, freak. I'll just walk through the door and start blasting. Dad, stop. You win, not hurt, dad. I'll be going now. All right, and there's Troll Stronghold done. I don't know why you get a Law Talisman for that quest, but whatever. All right, and there's Hazel Cult done, or Hazel, however you want to pronounce it. It's like the shortest quest ever, aside from Troll Stronghold. Okay, there's the actual completion of Hazel Cult. I completely forgot that uh, the first quest completion certificate they throw in there is, like, just a meme. That, and, I, well, I fell for it. <laughs> All right, I'm ashamed to admit it that after 20 days of played time, I've just now done Romeo and Juliet, but that puts me at 150 quest points, so I need 25 more in order to do the last part of Recipe for Disaster. I don't know why I paused there. All right, come on. Yes! Yes! I got it! And an elite clue. Elite clue and glories. Let's fucking go! Yeah, so this dude's been helping me uh, scout Dragon Emblings for the last couple of days, and I've been paying him like three or four mil per scout, but since I just got an Elite Clue and the Glories, I'm gonna throw him a little extra, because he's been the real MVP recently. Time to go charge these bad boys, and hopefully not die. I'm in the wilderness, ooh boy. I've made it to the Fountain of Rune. Nice. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, now I have charged glories. Time to mount one. So uh, the, the amulet is supposed to be uncharged. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but okay. You know what's funny is that now that I'm thinking about it, I risked my status for no reason, but hey, there's the, there's the mount of glory. Now I have, well... An, an amulet of glory to teleport with in my house. But yeah, I just risked my status for no reason. I went and charged those for no reason. But whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so it's been a pretty eventful couple of weeks with the holidays and everything, but I've still managed to get a lot done on the account recently. So up next, my to-do list going forward is going to be 70 agility, get a rune crossbow, and do Fremenic Isles, Lunar Diplomacy, Temple of Icob for Desert Treasure, and then do Desert Treasure, Regicide, Great Brain Robbery, Haunted Mine, King's Ransom, and that'll put me well over what I need to finish Recipe for Disaster, and then it's just Slayer, Farming, Birdhouse Runs, and Seaweed Runs for the rest of my life. I also have a pretty big construction grind coming up because I need to get 70 for Song of the Elves. I hope you all have had a wonderful holiday season, and let's fucking get after it in 2024 and make this year a really good one. All right, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, have a good day.